a key element of the of the transition to the, the, the cloud model for, for infrastructure is largely around going from, going from ticket-based provisioning of infrastructure and security and networking to self-service. It all comes back to, to the idea of speed. You know, in an ideal world, I want to create a common process for my teams to deliver applications, but I want them to have the implicit approval of uh, the ops security and networking teams before they, they deposit those applications into this low trust environment with uh, infrastructure on demand. And so if I could just use an example of you know, how many customers do it, if I want to deliver an application, my, first te my team has to file a ticket to get a virtual machine created. Number two, they have to then file a ticket to get the infrastructure deployed, the infrastructure elements installed and deployed. Uh, number three, after the application to get, gets deployed itself, someone has to then open another ticket to uh, have the firewall rules updated so that application can see traffic. And you know, that whole process could take 12 weeks. So it really doesn't matter how fast you can build an application if it takes 12 weeks for the application to see traffic. And I think, and I think that, that shift uh, away from this very ticket-based model to more of a self-service model is one of the reasons why cloud is so attractive. On cloud, I can spin up the infrastructure when I need it. I can, you know, I can uh, route traffic instantly to that application. Now, the downside of that is, how do I balance this speed plus control uh, element? Uh, I think there was a famous Pirelli ad that said years ago, speed without control is nothing. And, and that I think is the, the, the challenge that people are trying to solve for. So in our experience, what people do is they say, great, if I can decompose the problem into op security and networking, have to be comfortable with this new model of running infrastructure on cloud, how can I put in place a sort of a common infrastructure element that allows for self-service so that I can say to my development teams, if you use, for example, Terraform for provisioning and you only use this approved template, you can deploy 100 times a day. Number two, if you use Vault as the way you store all your credentials, Again, you have my implicit sign-off. You can deploy 100 times a day. If you use something like console as a way for service-based networking so that I can trust that when this artifact gets deployed, it is okay to see traffic, then you're good to go. And I think if you combine those three things, you, you actually enable the self-service model uh, with control, which I think is what the thing that everyone's trying to get to. And, and that's often what we refer to as this foundational investment that's required. How do I put in place the central shared service of infrastructure that allows for this uh, self-service model uh, by giving the implicit sign-off of op security and networking so that all 500 development teams in your company uh, can safely deploy as if they were a 10-person company.